Hello, and here we are again for the pastor's chat. Hi, everyone. It's good to be back. Yes. So we've been learning as we, every once in a while, we take off a week we're, that, we, that you miss it. So, but we're glad when we can do these pastor's chats, and here we go. So mm -hmm. to start off our chat, we uh, like to throw out a uh, random question for you to get to know us. So uh, the question this week is, um, how do you handle the, the heat? And we're talking the heat, the, the weather. When it is yeah. hot outside and today, well... 90 degrees. Yep, 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, how do you handle the heat? <laughs> how do we handle the heat? You know, when I was growing up, my parents used to love to take us to the water parks and you go down the slide. I haven't done that in ages, but that was a, that was a great way. Have you not gone to Dorney Park yet? Not since we've lived here. Wow. I, you know, I, uh, it's not open right note, now, by the way. Side note though, very first roller coaster I ever rolled, I was, I rode, I was 10 years old. It was at Dorney Park. That's so. really neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have a great water park there. So yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so I like try that. that sometime. I think it's called the snake pit. It's the one you stand and literally the you're standing and then the bottom pulls out and you just drop. Oh, cool. It's a water slide. Cool. Yeah. Sounds like it's worth checking out. But most of the time we don't have that to deal with the heat. So what I do is um, I work at home inside <laughs> or at church <laughs> in inside. the air conditioning. In the air conditioning. Yes. I am, for the heat, I love, love the water. So um, if I can be, we do have, a, we have our um, pool passes to the yep. Southern Lehigh pool. And that's one thing. We do that on a regular basis when I'm off. And for that promo, they should give you a discount. Yeah. Um, that's right, right there. There it is. Go <laughs> to the pool. Um, and, and then a second, also uh, being, uh, being on lakes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. growing up, um, my dad had a, a boat that he fixed up oh, okay. and tubing, being out in the water, being mm -hmm. at the beach. I, you, mm -hmm. When it's hot outside, I just love being in the water. So that's that's my thing. So a little thing to know about me is I was a swimmer growing up, though. So. Actually, so was I, believe it or not. There we go. Yeah. We yeah. should race on the pastor's chat. There we week. go. That'd be great. Yeah. I mean, I hate to embarrass you, but more more likely I hate to be embarrassed. So. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, at our house now, the uh, way that people are dealing with heat, in, well, for our granddaughter, is that uh, they take her out in, in the sprinkler, out in the oh, yard outside. Fine. So, yep, she comes in drenched. Yeah, so <laughs> there you go. There you have it. Mm -hmm. That's how we both deal with the heat. Um, we wanted to, so on those pastors chat, we've yep. been bringing this back and forth a lot. Uh, well, we've been bringing it back on the chat uh, on a regular basis about the regathering. Yes. Officially last night, uh, well, yeah, the elders mm -hmm. had met this week, um, and the proposal is going to be going out. Uh, yes. we are, we are not on this chat going to give you all the details, but we figured it'd nope. be helpful for you to know the first piece. Mm -hmm. Um, and the first piece is, uh, it's exciting to know that we're just going to encourage, um, our connect groups um, mm -hmm. that have been doing a lot of Zoom conferencing mm -hmm. to begin um, meeting together in person, but mm -hmm. following the following the correct procedures that are recommended um, of social distancing, social distancing. Um, yeah. and what and, and those things, uh, and trying to be in open spaces and meeting and gathering together again, and not just connect groups, any groups, oh uh, yes, smaller groups that we would have that could be of a size that could be safely meeting. Yes, uh, in Pennsylvania under the yellow phase. And yeah, because we mm -hmm. do have a lot of our groups that have um, that that meet in our different buildings that we're encouraging them to continue as well. Additionally, I wanted to add that um, for those of the groups that might be concerned that they might not have the space uh, for their connect groups, the church we're, we are going to offer groups the ability to schedule mm -hmm. to utilize the Fellowship Hall or the North Building or the Fairmont Building. Um, and you're able to contact the office and we'll work on getting uh, mm -hmm. groups on the schedule so uh, yeah. multiple groups aren't showing up at the same Side time. Side note on the Fairmount building, oh, if right. you have not <laughs> gone on Facebook and seen the pictures of what they did the f on, on Saturday, uh, they were supposed to on Saturday just move furniture and then this coming Saturday do all the demo work. They managed to do all the demo work, all the furniture moving and all the demo work just this Amazing. past Saturday. And it is the the left hand side completely down to the I mean it, it's it's cleared out. It's it's great. Yeah. And it, for those of you that don't know um, why that's happening, mm -hmm. we are working on moving our Calvary, the preschool at Calvary. 
uh, to a Fairmont building, um, and they are getting a new classroom, a new school over there, and it's really mm -hmm. exciting. So, and thank you to everybody that yeah. was able to be there um, to mm -hmm. help with that project. So many hands make light work, as they say. So be looking for that document. That document will be coming out um, shortly. It might be already out by the time you watch this video. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. So uh, be read it thoroughly and know that the whole basis is to make sure that we can um, see each other and care for humanity and the fact that some of us really miss seeing people. Mm -hmm. Additionally, uh, doing things in a way as we prep for regathering uh, that is a way that loves our community yeah. and cares for all our people here at Calvary as well. And let me highlight what's going to be in part of the introduction is that this document, which is a guide forward for us, is not the final word. Right. It's a, it continues to be a work in progress. And so as the situation changes, we will continue yes. to revisit it and we will have people that are actually given that task to be continually monitoring everything so that they can make recommendations for us to make changes yeah. that best fit our situation. Well, and continuing to talk about that we're starting to be able to see uh, each other in groups. Um, we, many of you know, at the Calvary, we've been searching um, for um, mm -hmm. uh, a youth pastor. Yes. Um, and we are excited to tell you that we are um, far along, we're, we're along in the process mm -hmm. with a, uh, an individual for the position. Yeah. And we want you to know that on the, on the weekend of June uh, 20, 28th, 28th yeah. uh, this individual will be visiting uh, for us to introduce, uh, introduce him um, and for you to get to know him. Uh, all the logistics of mm -hmm. how it's going to work, we don't have that yet. Um, but we want you to know to look at that weekend, make sure that you're able to have it free if you can. Um, and I should clarify, the 28th is the Sunday, so really yes. it's Friday night. Maybe we'll have something for some group, and then Saturday we'll have some other groups. We, we'd love for parents and students to get yes. a chance to get a feel for this person. We'd love for those who volunteer in the youth ministry to have yes. a chance to meet with them. Um, and so we'll be bringing this individual in. Um, so really the 26th through the 28th, yeah. you'll have some opportunities. And, to and we'll to know probably him. have to work of ways of, if a lot of people inquire about wanting to be there, we might have to do multiple, multiple. meetups and things mm -hmm. like that. And we, just so you know that we're, that those logistics are being worked out, but that weekend, get excited. I, we are, Dave and I have loved interacting with this individual. Yes. Um, and we hope that you enjoy him as well. Mm -hmm. um, is he hired yet? Nope, he is no. not hired. That's important to know. He yes. is not hired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we will be looking for your feedback as the elders decide yes. whether or not to hire him. But yep. this is the person who is furthest along that we like the best, that we feel God leading in this direction. Yeah. And so we are examining and continuing to search if this is the right way to go or not. Additionally, a quick reminder, this is a, a quick reminder that the congregational meeting is mm. this Sunday at 1 p.m. Um, all that information has been sent out and through email. It also has been sent out to those that need it through mail. Additionally, if for those that are going, where is it? You can contact the church and we can get that for you. And if there are people that don't have a printer and want a physical pro uh, copy, we have some of those outside the church office doors. Um, but remember, it's 1 p.m. It's a webinar. You need to register for the Zoom webinar before beforehand. And one of my big encouragements is if, if this is new to you, Zoom is new to you, or all this, start getting ready to get on around 12, you know, 1240 early. Be on early so if you run into problems, you can get help and you can get on uh, by the start of the meeting at 1 p.m. So mm -hmm. Uh, it will be different, but we're well prepared. Um, it's going to go. We have a practice webinar coming up. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We have a practice, and mm -hmm. uh, we hope that it runs smoothly. And that's something mm -hmm. that you can be in prayer for that it would run smoothly. Yeah, I've been so appreciative of uh, a team that Tim was Tim was part of that has put this whole thing together and made it work. Even yeah. though this is a meeting that we're meeting in a way that we've never met before, yeah. and you know when I got the the packet of information, I was absolutely blown away. The information wasn't new to me. It's stuff that I've been on teams that have been working through this thing, but to see it all put together so well uh, and, and just then how to get into the meeting and the meeting would run and all of that, I was just so amazingly impressed. Yes. And certainly I'd say that if for whatever reason you haven't received that information yet 
uh, contact the office. Call them, email yeah. them. They'll get it to you. Yes, yes. And make sure you thank them because the office had a big part in getting this package together. Indeed, indeed. So um, that's that's coming up this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Well, um, what else is this Sunday? <laughs> many of you have seen, and if you haven't, the the rebuild um, sermon series is starting this Sunday. There's a preview on our YouTube page right here. So yeah. if you if you can't uh, you, you haven't seen it, go to our rebuild playlist, and the preview mm -hmm. is right in there. Um, but this coming Sunday, and, the sermon. And, and by the way, that 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 video was starring you as the actor in it. Yes, yes. yes. Um, I had many comments that people told me that I don't uh, that the way I wasn't using the hammer correctly. <laughs> Did you say it's because you were left-handed or? <laughs> no, no. I just you know I, I had to let some of them slide, and then sometimes I try to defend myself, but. Yeah, so if yeah. you need to see that, the, there is video feed where I do hit the nail harder and uh, a proper swing. So for those of you that are like, that yes. young man needs to learn how to work a hammer. Yes, just don't defend yourself with the hammer, okay? That, um, yeah, true. Yeah, that, that'd probably be, that, be bad for someone else. <laughs> yeah, so this Sunday, we're Re starting the Rebuild. Rebuild Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about as we come out of this time of quarantine and recognizing that so many parts of our lives have been not just damaged or changed, maybe even broken. And so we're looking at how do we rebuild our lives at this time. And so we're looking at Ezra chapters 1 and 2, where the people of God who have been in captivity for generations at yeah. this point, 70 years, and, and now the king issues a decree that says, you all can go back, and you can rebuild the temple, and you can worship God again. And they begin to put that into motion by a remnant, a small group. I mean, it's 50,000 people, but out of the, all, the whole nation, it's a small group. And they begin to make a return so that life can go back to such a way that they are doing what God has called them to do, and that they are worshiping him in the way that he has called them to worship him. And what an incredible connection to that. Some of us would definitely say we feel like we've been in captivity. Yeah. Um, but that same idea is we come out, let's work on rebuilding our foundation. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to read Ezra 1, 1, and 2, because this is one of the parts of Ezra. It's one of my favorite uh, starts mm -hmm. is that as the Lord stirs the heart of the king, he says, in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing. And at that point, it goes on to say that he's letting those people to mm -hmm. go back uh, to Jerusalem. And it's amazing that it just simply that uh, Cy the Cyrus king of Persia is not, he's not a follower of the Lord. Nope. Uh, but God stirs his heart because God loves his people. So and cares mm -hmm. for them. And God is sovereign and has a plan and his plan is going to happen. So this Sunday, so, yeah. Rebuild Foundation. Tune in our channel. That All that information can be found on YouTube or on our website. Um, mm -hmm. And we look forward to starting this series this week. And uh, one last encouragement, invite your friends. Share mm -hmm. the preview. Um, I think we all need to hear this um, mm -hmm. rebuild, uh, the Rebuild series. So, Well, thank you for joining us again on yes. the Pastor's Chat. Thank you all. Bye.